Piva Zios DS Media Player plugged in and you're seeing the Android desktop and uh, uh, from cold boot it takes a while to load sometimes and uh, I've also plugged in a USB thumb drive that uh, has some media in it to, to, uh, to test out and I also have a USB dongle uh, for connecting my wireless keyboard and mouse now uh, you can control it with the with the remote given remote control uh, fairly easily, uh, but for since it is an Android desktop, it is much easier to navigate if you have a remote control that is uh, sort of will act like a mouse, or even better, just plug in a mouse. See here, you have wallpaper change, manage apps, and system settings. Uh, you can access this menu by clicking this button right here. So system settings is where you would go initially. Uh, I'm going to have my date set properly, but I have set my Wi-Fi here. I'm connected to my local Wi-Fi network. If you have a, uh, if you have, uh, if you're using a local Ethernet connection, you can do that. Also, the remote uh, can get blocked by objects, so make sure that uh, nothing is in front of your remote and. Uh, and your Piva Zios. For example, I have my tripod here. It wasn't uh, incorrectly. Also, if it's if it's not in the line of sight, I had it. I was positioning it higher, and it wasn't registering 100% all the time. So, see now it's registering. And uh, see here. Uh, also, the display. By default, the uh, output mode is 720p. So you might want to set that to 1080p if you have a, a TV that supports it. So you can. Uh, can I adjust it? Also, the font size was set to large. I set it to just normal. Now, so it's. Uh, let me just set it back to uh, huge, so you can see it on the video. There you go. Much easier to see the controls. Uh, the storage shows you the internal storage space. Of course, there's internal storage. Uh, 512 megs being used. Actually, more than that's being. Uh, uh, you have the SD card option, you can on the side, you have the NAND storage, and of course the thumb driver, you, you'll have to unmount it if you want to uninstall it. And uh, the apps that are downloaded. Uh, some apps here are installed by default, but some I had to download. For example, I had downloaded, you see there, uh, the Flash actually says you downloaded, but it was already pre-installed. Uh, I installed the MX Player, I installed Netflix, and I installed YouTube. Uh, but other than that, XBMC is already installed, and he has plenty of other options there. And let me just go back here to uh, Accounts and Sync. Now, it's important since if it is a Google Android uh, OS, it's a it's Android OS using the using essentially uh, tied in with the Google services. Uh, if you do have a sync here, what happens is it automatically uh, sets up your account for every every app that uses it uh, for example let me just go back here to the main menu for example YouTube it will load that automatically when you download the app and you load the app for the first time it will automatically log you in as your account and the same with the mail if you set up the mail to do so you will you will uh, be able to do that now let me just show you how much easier it is if you have a mouse or uh, any wireless pointer device you can see here and I can since the Android OS is essentially designed for touchscreen use for tablets or phones you can see that uh, you, act, you can easily just kind of drag and drop things and also um, you can access this uh, this corner right here is actually the all app shortcut uh, it's easy of course with your mouse but you can also access that with your remote uh, you can just have to kind of toggle your way around that and here's this is the Play Store if you're not familiar with the Android OS this is essentially where you will search for apps uh, to find and download for example this is where I did to use, to search for the YouTube app and it shows you if it's installed or not and you can also while you're side loading that you can also move around exit this uh, app right here Go back there, and also since it is internet, there is internet functionality. There is a built-in browser, and if you have a keyboard, it's much easier to kind of use. See there, uh, it has my Google account, has a Gmail calendar, and just search. Let's 
this right here. And uh, show you the keyboard functionality. Yeah. Legion. You see, essentially, you have full browser functionality here uh, with the Audi desktop. And there's my face. Just happens to be <laughs> top hit. Well, I guess because it was uh, searching using the algorithm, incorporating your, your user account as well. And uh, here we have, of course, the upgrade option, which I would recommend, uh, especially for the first time here. Uh, you just opened up your box here with your Pivas iOS. You access it here, you can check the local update if you have it in a thumb drive, automatic update as well. And also, let's click here. Because this is XBMC that sits on top of the Android platform. Uh, it has been improved significantly. This is the Frodo build, uh, the latest one. And uh, let me just show you that it's, uh, it's not a problem on loading the usual, the regular, screen, uh, regular skin here. This is, I believe, the Confluence skin. And uh, so let me see if I have my files. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Let me see if I can move away from that. Day. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Pressed. Well, you can probably guess just uh, dealing with this remote is not uh, as easy as using a mouse. But uh, let me slow that again. Okay, so we have CV to center Frodo build and show you the menu moving there. And of course, you can build. Uh, files if you have it on your I have some pictures here on my thumb drive Let me just demonstrate how to add files into view if you're not familiar with the XBMC Screen you have your picture add-ons where you have you can download attachments I rather download apps to use with your XBMC software and also you have the uh, Option to add source here you can of course add a source from a network or if you have if you're just accessing file that's attached by USB or onto the on board the uh, storage itself, you can just go to a root file system, go to the mounted folder, which is MNT, if you're not familiar with uh, Android, there's your MNT, and look for the, uh, the drive you need to access. For example, SDA1 will be the flash drive that we have installed, and SD card will be the SD card if we have one in there. So let's go to the SDA1, and I have my photos folder here, I have my audio folder, so we can go to the photos folder, open that up, and then move down. Actually, the correct uh, button to press is actually move back after you select this folder. So you can go to the OK uh, button on the bottom. Pressing down won't go there. You have to press back and then hit OK. Make sure it is the right path. Uh, move down on the controls. You can uh, customize the name. I'm happy with photos for now. Just click OK. And of course, we now we can load that. These are high resolution photos we took in Vegas. And you can see it here, about five megabytes each. And uh, let's see, try to load one in the... And I am moving. Uh, it was pretty fast. And uh, let's go back now and show you the videos. Okay. Um, videos and files I already added my video files here so I have an empty MTS file here you can see that it's it's able to see that you have the uh, mp4 file uh, and you have 1080p uh, trailer here for MKV and 1080p AVI uh, video of course depending on the codec uh, this actually I, I tried to customize a codec here and it wasn't uh, this isn't working I have the audio works because mp3 audio as you can see, it's not loading in the back. Uh, but this MKV it works for, perfectly fine. <coughs> sure about that. Just the, I, I tried to do a, to use a different codec and seeing if uh, it would work. Of course, you can add on codecs with your, with your software on, and uh, it, it takes a while to customize it. And, uh... What brings you to the land of the gatekeepers? I'm searching for something. Also see some right here. A dangerous quest for a little back. back. Show you uh... what brings you to the land of the gatekeepers. 
Well, you get an idea, and uh, also this is a 720p uh, MP4 file. Similar to the pictures and videos, you can also add source if you have it already. And you can also browse here. And talk to some and look for our mounted folder again. And just uh, lower the volume a bit so you can hear what we're talking about. Now the remote itself, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, you have to be kind of in the line of sight or else it won't uh, register all the time. It depends on your motherboard. Okay, I can tell you, we can give you as much space in the world, but your motherboard, your other... All right, there you go. Let's add audio and uh, try that. And let's go to audio here. Or is it the same as the... MP3 file. And wave file. So you can press forward here. I'm going to move it forward. Oh, that's not going to work. I have to exit first. The main screen and control it there. Oh, there you go. Okay. Pretty much uh, just a quick overview of XBMC. And of course, you can customize it uh, however you want. Uh, as a, that's the point of having XBMC to begin with. It's, it's the customization you can do with it compared to other uh, other media center software. And uh, here at the system options, you can change the output settings and uh, just show you the uh, advanced options available here on the uh, on the Frodo build. Is a where was that saying? Here it's actually enabled by default already. Uh, enable mouse screen and, and uh, touch screen support. If you have advanced remote controls such as uh, a Bluetooth controller or a uh, or a just it's, it's a simple mouse and keyboard control browser. Yeah, file browser here shows you the. Uh, this is, this is on my uh, media play on my USB drive. See here uh, the default movie player. Let's see here in the. I don't know how to use this uh, media player here. I can't find the seat bar. <laughs> Well, anyway, you can see that it works. Uh, let me just uh, try to open it with. Uh, this is this is an MKV H sixty four video. You have the let me try this default video player here in a gallery. See, so you can see just a seek bar here. Oh, I think it's a drag type of seek bar. There we go. I'm searching for someone. Yeah, you get the idea. And uh, also, let's try some, uh, let's go back to the gallery here and take a look at some uh, photos. Some higher photos. Of course, it says Android. You can, the mouse is much easier to navigate. You can just drag it around itself. It's already loaded in the memory, it's much faster. Of course, these are high risk, uh, high risk photos. Let's see how fast it loads, and you can just move it around. Of course, this is good if you're showing uh, multiple people, maybe your trip, uh, photos of your trip. This was, uh, we take, took this and uh, we went to CES earlier this year. Well, good idea, and uh, that's, that pretty much covers uh, the main features here. Uh, 
of course, there's a lot more possibilities with people as iOS Media Player since it is a flexible Android uh, desktop that you see here. All you need to do is, of course, access it with a Play Store. You can download games, uh, depending, of course, uh, by the compatibility of the hardware in there. There's also music and uh, plenty of other services. Of course, Netflix. Let's check out Netflix. Uh, YouTube was down earlier, so I'm not sure what's going on. Something's wrong with the YouTube servers for some reason, but uh, let me just show you Netflix here, since this can be quite intensive. I have my... Uh, takes a while to look, of course, we generate thumbnails. And of course with the mouse, it's very easy to move around. You can navigate. You just drag it around. On top. And uh, just exit that. It can't show you the uh, movie loading copyright reasons. And, uh, and that's pretty much it, covering the basic uh, overlay here of the uh, Pivo Zios functionality. As you can see, unlike other Android-based media player, they did not uh, restrict your options here. You can you can install apps. You can uh, add in uh, functionality as you see fit. You can customize it. They don't have their own customized desktop, uh, although there is one. But uh, there's, you can also use XBMC. But uh, with full functionality of the desktop here, with the ability to add apps you're basically in control of your media player and that's pretty much it covering the overview part of this review and let's go back now to the main review